Good day to you, beloved. Listen, welcome and thank you for taking today's daily dose. Our little appeal today comes from Deuteronomy chapter 32, verses 9 and 10, which reads, For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him and he kept him as the apple of his eye. Now, something that we need to understand about scripture, there's context, which is the most important thing. And then there's application. In the context of this scripture, God is specifically talking about Israel, whom he had brought out of Egypt through the wilderness and brought over the promised land. But the application of this scripture, we are God's people. Beloved, you and I, believers, we are God's people. And this is God's attitude towards his people in this scripture. God says that the Lord's portion is his people. He delights in his people. He is jealous for his people, not in a way that we're jealous because of something that we don't have, but he's jealous like a mother bird over her nest. He's going to protect. He's going to provide. He's going to care. He's going to provide life for his people. But I like it that he says that he will keep thee as the apple of his eye. Now, I need you to understand what that means. We've heard it over the years. Some things we say, some things we've heard, we never question. But the apple of your eye actually refers to your pupils, where light comes in, where images are processed. Do you realize that God designed your body to where your eye has so much protection? You may not think about it like this. You may not see it, but check this out. You've got eyelids, which close. They blink. They keep your eyes from drying out. When you blink, your eyes are, are, are able to stay moist. When you're sleeping, your eyes are protected. Then you have eyelashes. Eyelashes filter some of the sun's rays that come into your eyes so that you don't get a direct hit straight to your pupils. And it also keeps certain debris from getting into your eyes. So God has designed your body to protect your eyes. And God is saying that basically just as you are uh, uh, careful about your eyesight, just as you are zealous for your eyesight and you protect your eye, I keep you as the apple of my eye. You are someone that I love. You are someone that I cherish. You are someone that I protect. You are someone that I provide for. I will make sure I take care of my own, God is saying. Now, why is this today's daily dose? Because there are those of us who are looking for validation from other people. There are those of us who are looking for thank yous from other people. Those of us who are looking for likes, like my statuses from other people. There are those who are looking for approval from other people, attention from other people. And God is saying, you are the apple of my eye. One of my t-shirts, you know, I, I, I love my gear from artofhomage.com. And one of my t-shirts says famous enough. Famous enough means uh, the, the shirt is a conversation starter. And famous enough means that the one person that needs to know me knows me and I know him. He's mine and I'm his and he's my God. If nobody else knows me, the fact that God knows me is enough validation. It's all I need. If I'm the apple of his eye, nobody can do for me what God can do for me. So I want to encourage you today that God is jealous for you. He loves you. He is there for you. He is going to take care of you no matter what you go through in life. Some things are meant for us to go through, but God is right there in the midst of the storm. He's right there in the midst of the fire. He's right there in the midst of the lion's den, right there with you. Be encouraged. God bless you.